According to a statement by Director of Criminal Investigations, Degwa Mohoro, automated number plate recognition cameras and video clips from the intelligent video surveillance cameras both capture movement of the deceased's vehicle that evening as follows. At 7.34 p.m., Juma's car is spotted in Westlands, traveling towards the city center along Waiyaki Way. Juma is on the driver's seat with one passenger inside the vehicle. Two minutes later, cameras capture the vehicle passing next to Villa Rosa, Nairobi, still heading towards the city center. The next moment recorded is at 7.38 p.m. The vehicle moving along Uhuru Highway past Utali House towards Mombasa Road. For 15 minutes after that, there is no other sighting of the car. No one knows what happened during this time. 7.53 p.m. The vehicle reappears. It seems to have changed direction and is now seen moving in the opposite direction along Uhuru Highway near Central Park towards Waiyaki Way. From this point on, the statement does not indicate the identity of the driver or the presence of any passengers inside the vehicle. At 7.55 p.m., the vehicle is spotted by cameras moving up Nyerere Road near the Children's Traffic Park. For about 19 minutes after this, there is no other sighting of the vehicle on CCTV. At 8.14 p.m., the vehicle is seen driving along Agwins Kodak Road near Yaya Center towards Ole Odume Road. That is the last CCTV record of Jacob Juma's car that evening according to police. No one has a clue what happens after this last sighting. At about 9 p.m. that evening, two people approach a police officer on duty at the MS China and Bridge Construction and report seeing a suspect stationary motor vehicle with shuttered windows at the Southern Bypass Interchange along Gong Road. Police responding to the report find the vehicle at the scene, its back window completely shattered and the bullet riddled body of Jacob Juma inside. Police say that following communication analysis, they have interviewed one woman who was with Juma in his car at some point that day. For now, investigations continue. What really happened that night? That question cannot be answered just yet. Fred Indimuli for The Big Question.